Hi, I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my acrylic painting channel. I'm going to be painting a step-by-step -step rosy painting using some flat brushes and some really pretty colours, a fluorescent pink and some yellows. So, shall we get started? For a full list of all the materials I'll be using in this tutorial, please see the description below along with a photo link. I'm actually start off, I've made myself a stay wet palette and this actually keeps the acrylics from drying out and I will put a link in the description below of how I made my own stay wet palette. I'm using acrylic paper on block. I put some washi tape around the edge to get a really nice white border once I finished the painting. And the only drawing required was just one that straight line, sort of two thirds of the way at the top there. And I'm using a two inch flat brush. And I'm just sort of blocking in blue, green, and a touch of white. A little bit of water here and there just to get the paint flowing. And this is yellow and light green. And I will put a list of the colours that I'm using in the description below as well. Um, I hope you find that helpful. So I'm just blocking in all of this yummy green colour. I'm just adding a little bit of lighter areas to the background there just to create a little bit of light using my flat brush. My painting has dried and I'm actually squeezed out a little bit of yellow paint and I'm using a one inch flat brush and I'm just gonna block in the shapes of these roses. So I'm not using outlines. I'm just sort of trying to see sh various sort of shapes. I'm not too worried about copying the painting, the photograph rather. I'm painting this in a very impressionistic style and I'd like you to try the same and just loosen up. It's so much fun to do. Um, if you find it tricky, just half close your eyes just to see the shapes. As you see now, I'm actually blocking in some of the leaves there using some yellow and some primary blue. And I'm just sort of using the shape of my brush, pressing and twisting and getting lots of different sort of leaf marks. Again, not trying to draw an outline and fill in. So it's, they're very painterly marks and it's lovely just using the brush in this very free style.
So as you can see there, I'm using yellow, um, some red, fluorescent pink. If you don't have it, you could use something like opera rose or permanent rose. I'm mixing it with the yellow. I'm also using it on its own and I am using it with white paint as well. So I'm varying the colors. I've swapped to my one inch shorter flat inch brush, my little go-to brush for detail. I've just squeezed out some of Golden, that's the brand, and it's their high flow acrylics and they're sort of very intense pigmented um, more watery it feels like more liquid um, acrylic paint it's really nice to use and you can use it almost like watercolor and just to say I have got a watercolor tutorial of this particular picture and I'll put a link for that video in the description below so I'm using all sorts of parts of my brushes here I've got white mixed with the fluorescent pink a little bit of yellow as well I'm just sort of painting the edges of some of the petals there really sort of varying the mark using the tip of the brush the side of the brush and using different sort of colors half closing my eyes I don't want to do a photographic um, photo, uh, painting here I want it to be an impressionistic painting and um, just be really loose and enjoy it just enjoy mixing colors and just painting on marks and every now and again just let your painting dry I'm just painting the bud here. I've actually used some cadmium red and some pyrrole red. You can use permanent magenta as well. Just building up some of the darker tonal values. And I've actually exaggerated the photograph a little bit. I fancy going a little bit deeper with the colors, but they are so pretty. You don't have to actually copy the colors in the photograph. You can paint your own sort of rose colors up to you.
I'm working on the background, the negative space, and it's fun to do. And I'm using cadmium yellow, a little bit of primary blue, and also like a cerulean blue as well to get a really light limey green. I'm also adding a little bit of red every now and again, just to warm up the green, make because there's some nice reddy greens in there, especially um, on the buds, just below the buds there, there's some markings. I'm also painting some darks. I'm using the primary blue, touch of yellow with some red so it's just the primary colors and getting these beautiful darks especially on the left hand side here where there's a few sort of dead roses there makes it a little bit more interesting the composition as well I almost feel like I'm using oil paints here the, the paints coming off beautifully and I'm really loading my brush each time just to get plenty of paint so keep mixing fresh color if you find the acrylic gets sticky just let it dry and then carry on working on top working dark to light. I'm heading in really here now working on the details. I've swapped to a smaller brush, um, a little half inch brush there and I'm using white mixed with a lot of my colours that are already in my palette to paint lighter tonal values, especially on some of these leaves there. They're quite shiny so when the light hits them they're almost exaggerated, they're so much lighter. Again remember use the brush to try and create that sort of leaf shape or petal shape press twist turn practice it don't worry about getting it wrong um, the beauty of acrylic paintings if it goes wrong let it dry paint over the top have another go remember this is all practice and learning and having fun and finding out what sort of artist you want to be don't slavishly copy photographs you're just um it's no fun that's just all i'm gonna say it's no fun but i do use them as reference material um, and I'm just now blocking in some of the background, uh, just really sort of homing in on these dark greens here using this small little flat brush and just also cutting in and around this negative shape that I'm painting and the lighter green that I painted around the roses really sort of forms the shape. So if you've gone wrong a little bit with your shape, you can use the negative space to help describe the roses and the background. So I think I'll leave my painting there for now. I'm just taking off the washi tape. I did get a little tear just at the top there, as you can see. Um, so I should have waited, I think, for the painting to dry. It was still a little bit wet and just be a bit careful. The paper obviously doesn't like tape. Um, but I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you've learned something from it and it inspires you to have a go at painting some roses in the garden. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this tutorial and you'd like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you will get updates of my latest videos. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.